Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Warrior Cowboy and today I thought I'd do something a little bit differently. I'm going to walk you through um, a game. Uh, and I'm going to do my best to give you th my thoughts as I'm going. I'm going to start out with a brand new hunter. I'm thinking about doing the black coat here. So we'll go ahead and hire him off. And we'll just do a probably a generic loadout. Nothing, nothing too fancy here. Just trying to figure out what I want to do. Actually, what are my perks? First off, I got sniper, scope, smith, physician, and determination. That's actually really, really solid. So let's go ahead and figure out what kind of weapons we want. I want to. Try and do a long ammo, I think. <laughs> eh, we'll do a Mosin Nagant game. How's that? Mosin Nagant, uppercut. I take the knuckle knife. I take fusies generally, although I put the med kits in that slot, though I know where they are. Med kit, fusies. And then choke bombs. For this, I like to run one explosive and one um, fire. And then I usually tend to do one vitality shot. Oh, hey, look, I got a hive bomb. Cool. And one antidote shot just to keep those hives and everything off of me. So I'm going to run a duos game with a random partner. And we're going to find a partner and get right into it. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to load in. If it does, we will see you in the game. Oh, never mind. We'll just go for it because the match is already found. So we'll see how it goes. So the Mosin Nagant is a pretty solid weapon. It's not my favorite in the game. It, it does all right. I'm still working on getting a little bit better with it. Um, the uppercut obviously is one of the is the strongest pistol in the game for one. Um, and again, I'm not all that great with it actually. I have been finding much more success with a Nagant officer. But the good thing about taking the uh, uppercut with you is if you're not as comfortable of a shot like I am. Um, I don't hit 100% of my shots or I, I tend to miss a few before I finally get that hit. The uppercut has long ammo too so it actually adds to your ammo pool for the Mosin Nagant and vice versa. If you're using the uppercut a little bit more often the Mosin Nagant's ammo pool can be transferred over to the ammo pool of the uppercut so that that's something that you can keep in mind I tend to try and pair compact ammo with compact ammo um, medium ammo and so on and so forth uh, just for that larger ammo pool because I'm not the greatest shot in the world but we'll see how I do on this game I always start off with the antidote shot as soon as I'm loading into it because as soon as the game gets going, I have an hour of poison immunity with the full antidote shot. So, and then as soon as I've run into a lunchbox that gives consumables, I can just go ahead and snack that lunchbox real quick and see if I get another explosive or a flash bomb or something that I can use in a fight later on down the road. So we'll just wait for a couple more seconds here while the game, while players finish loading into the game. We'll stab myself in the arm with an antidote shot, and we'll go grab our first clue, which is right over there. 
So, when you're thinking about spawns, we spawned here. There's a spawn over here potentially, and a spawn over here, but they usually go Bradley. So really the only one we gotta worry about is the one over here on the other side of the wolf's head. You can check the right hand spawn real quick and easy by coming up here. You'll see me do that all the time, because you can usually see them running up through these trees here. Hellhounds are the only thing that you're going to have a hard time picking up. Because the knuckle knife takes two hits to kill him. I'm not going to heal this med kit back, or this, uh... See, and the other spawn is down there somewhere. A lot of people tend to worry about crows. Me, not so much. Oh, they are here. Alright, so gunshots in our compound. I am immediately going to go for high ground here. So I go in through the window. They don't know we're here quite yet. But now they do. So I'm going to take this hive out real quick. And I'm going to watch for them. I have no idea where they are. I th think they're over here. There's, there's a team over at the other side of, the, of this place. So we are going to have to be very careful about that too. They're over there somewhere. So this could be a fairly nasty pinch because of my positioning. My controller is giving me fits so I cannot just naturally sprint like I would like to. So that's a spark sniper. So I am not going to challenge that because he knows where I am and I have no idea where he is. So I'm just going to rotate and try to regroup with my teammate. These guys have actually left the area. So again, I have no idea where this team is. I know they're somewhere out in that direction because that's where the shot came from. Never mind, they're right here on my corner. That is the same exact spark, so I don't want to get caught out in the open with that. So I'm going to head back into the compound. I mean about not being able to hit most of my shots. Thankfully my teammate is there for the rescue. And as actually able to pick up both kills there. So, good on my teammate to be aggressive there with the shotgun that he has. Um, that's another thing that I like to keep track of is what does my teammate have in this case. Whoa, shit, there's the other team. So he's going to loot up. I know this other guy's like right behind the chicken coop here somewhere. 
because I can hear him crouch walking a little bit. So again, my teammate being nice and aggressive. My other, other teammate. Time for a quick med kit. I hit one shot, which probably made the enemy teammate right there panic, which is good. The other teammate was up there somewhere. He's down low now. I can hear him on the ground. He's in the train. And I get the headshot. So, right there. Sound is key. I heard him moving. And I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear that either, because I was talking over it a little bit too. But I heard him, so I knew he had changed location, number one. That's actually really, really mean. A Martini Henry explosive with a Lamat slug round, so that's kind of interesting. That's really interesting, actually. And I think this guy had a label, didn't he? Oh no. So I heard him. I heard him, his footsteps on the dirt. And then I was able to track his movement from there. See, there's that Nagant officer I was talking about. So, go ahead and loot up. We grabbed our first clue from here. And we'll go ahead and move on from there. That is two teams down. Largely thanks to my teammate keeping his head right there. I kind of panicked a little bit with that second team, I'm not going to lie. Um, and I was rushing my shots a little bit too much. Same goes for the first team. I was, I kept thinking I had a good shot, and I didn't. I was aiming a little bit too left, far left, too far right. You know, so you you gotta. S sometimes it's a good thing to remind yourself, hey, I need to slow down if I'm gonna be able to make this good shot. Ooh, team here too. So right there again, you slow down just a little bit. And I was able to get the headshot starting off on the right foot. Allowing me to get that shot off was huge. So now we have full control over the body. As well as whatever this enemy teammate decides to do. So I'm actually gonna try not to glitch out here and go up top. My teammate's gonna be aggressive with the shotgun. I'm gonna wait for it. And then I'm just going to apply pressure. Great job by my teammate pushing in there and managing his space there with the shotgun. Now I am in desperate need of some long ammo.
So there's that toolbox I was talking about. Unfortunately, I'm all full up. So I'm going to get rid of one hive bomb because I already have one. And I'm going to snack this toolbox real quick. And I'll take a chaos bomb. That's a pretty fair trade. Nobody else is here, which is good. I melee the boss just to conserve ammo. Um, especially when I'm pretty low anyway. Axes are the best for me. I'll ping that out from my teammate when it's there. I'm gonna keep an eye out for any long ammo. Let's try to restock. Quick little hint, if you have a fully charged melee attack and you click on your dark side real quick, you get the opportunity to the teammate needs to stop bleeding and get out of his way. I cannot stress that enough. If you've got a teammate that is hurt, get out of the way of the exit. Please, for the love of everything that's good in life. Get out of the way of the exit. So we can hear. Keep checking to make sure our teammates and everybody is clear that way we don't run into issues as it goes. More ammo, take that. Determination, we already have it. Teammate finishes off the boss, no problem. Well, that's weird. He died to the assassin right there, so I'm not too worried about the enemy team here. I'm gonna get him the full heal right away by banishing. And then I like to do a quick scout out. I know there was another team off to our southeast somewhere. So we'll see if they've come to the, to the noise at all. I'm not seeing them anywhere, but that doesn't mean they're not listening, you know, or watching somewhere. They went to... He's just pinging out Determination. I already have it on this character. And this is just a special ammo box anyway. So, nothing I need. I need long ammo, and I've got most of it anyway. Just trying to tell my... I already have it. Look. I can't pick it up. I already have it. My teammate doesn't know. This one. Oh, 
Alright, so more than likely we're gonna end up having to fight that team that banished the spider. Unless we just loop back around. I'll see what my teammate wants to do. Um, because the nearest extract to us is right here behind them. So spider's right here. That's our nearest extract. We could go all the way down to Hemlock and Hide, TNA Lumber and stuff to get that. And or up to Salted Pork. Either way, we get our banish first, so we kind of get to make that choice. But uh, I tend to let my random partners make the decision. Because sometimes they're not confident or don't want to fight anymore. Um, he's been doing alright, so it wouldn't surprise me in the least if he wanted to fight. But again, it's his choice. Um, I just kind of try to play to compliment my teammates when I'm playing with randoms. So, we'll see how it goes. Because more often than not, I have more experience than these guys. He's reps, he's prestige 7 with a .8 AD. Um, he does have more kills than I do. He does have a lot more deaths. So, he's right about 180 levels lower than I am, but he has more kills, so that means he doesn't succeed as soon as he gets level 100 like I do, which means he's been playing this game longer. So, pick up the bounty, give a quick scan, nobody's near us. And we'll see what my teammate, Mr. Gamma Whammy, wants to do. And then we just follow him from here on out, see where he wants to go. Oh my god, I need a new controller, something awful. So, more than likely, this team, now, since they picked up right after... Okay, so I'm full up on ammo, so I'm ready to fight if these, this team wants to fight. Uh, I'm going to keep an eye on my lightning bolts, see where they're going. Looks like they're starting to move right on up to the extract, so more than likely they're out of this game. They don't want to fight, which is fine. People can play how the people can play. And then we'll extract to follow and see where it goes from there. So they're at the extract, that means it's game over. There's no reason for us to stick around and not do anything. She moved. My teammate thinks we're gonna catch him. We're not, they're already out of the game. So, might as well snack up the last little bit of XP that we can get. Four kills and the assassin. That's not a bad game at all. I will definitely take it. My teammate got, oh, correction, six kills. We got six kills in the assassin off of this one. Yeah, because we had two at the train, four at the train, and two at the boss layer. So I will definitely take that.
it is definitely a good game for me. So we'll go into the post screen and then I will equip some perks, tell you the c some of the perks that I always go for, um, more quality of life perks over anything, and then we'll go from there. All right. All right, so here we are. Go ahead and skip all the theatrics here. We got six kills. We got the clean sweep bonus with for uh, for that. I leveled my character all the way up from level one to level twenty-one. I will definitely take that for sure. We made right about eight hundred hunt dollars, fourteen hunt or blood bonds, uh, almost six thousand experience. So. Oh, Pretty good game overall. I will definitely take it. We got a couple of unlocks here. The Mosin Obrez. I will take that for sure. And then we go right into here on the perks. So I always set up my hunter right back again. We got a Hellfire Bomb back. So that's good. Um, again, if I can get my controller to work. I get the Vitality Shot. I get the antidote shot and we're good to go so for this I'm going to get since I already have determination and physician those are two that I almost always get anyway here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get bullet grabber for the Mosin Nagant because every time you reload you lose a bullet I'm gonna get fanning because faster fire rate on pistols why wouldn't you I'm gonna get bloodhound I'm going to get Gator Legs to go through deep water faster. And if I can, screw it. I'll just get Tomahawk so I can throw shit at people if I want to. So anyway, that's kind of how I think as I'm going through the game. Um, it doesn't always work out for me, but hopefully that helps you understand kind of way I'm going about it. I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. And until next time, have a good one. Thank <laughs> you.